My name is Kaya and I'm the lab manager at Nordic Approach. And today we're going to talk to you about sample roasting. Here at Nordic Approach, we sample roast both to purchase coffee, to approve coffee, and to send out samples to our customers. When we sample roast, we use our little beauty that you can see over here. Her name is Mildred and she's been with us for a couple of years now. Uh, she got a really good upgrade like a year ago where we uh, adjusted the gas flow. So we, we added on like gas manometers for each drum so we can manually steer each drum. We put on some uh, temperature um, displays so we could have better control of what we're doing. And in case you didn't know, she's a pro bat, BRC. Uh, it's a very well-known barrel sample roaster. Basically, how she works is that the gas comes in and we light it with a little spark. And the, there's a flame that appears right in here or here. And basically, the flame that appears here is what heats up the drum and also roasts the coffee. From there, there's also two uh, air ducts in the machine. One is leading the air out of the machine and the other is leading it in. Uh, this uh, that leads the air in, we also can control in order to give higher or lower temperature. And yeah, that's basically the entire magic of it all. It's really simple. When we're roasting we are basically trying to develop as much flavor and aroma as we possibly can in the coffee and like I said the roast time is normally between six and seven or eight minutes depending a bit on the coffee or the process uh, and here you basically see the entire development of the coffee so there's one minute where the coffee is completely raw basically you have two minutes where you can see that the the water or the moisture in the coffee is starting to come to the surface so it gets almost a bit darker. Here's three minutes where you see a very um, distinct color change from green to yellow. At around four minutes I would say that the caramelization starts uh, and it goes brown. Between five and six minutes there's a lot of stuff happening. Um, between five and six you get this like really distinctive aroma it reminds me of freshly baked bread uh, and that's the only way i know except from looking at the timer that the coffee's like almost getting ready to crack um and between six uh, minutes and 6.30 minutes uh, is so much uh there's like so much heat coming out of the coffee although it's not cracking yet but it's like just about and then at 6.30 it starts to crack uh, and there's a very distinctive blue kind of gas-like um, fume that comes out of the beans, uh, which is the evaporation. And it's very pretty to look at. And then when the co coffee is uh, cracking, it's basically tripling its size, which is kind of cool. And when the coffee cracks, it basically expands itself. I think it's three times more than its size, which is really cool because you can see, for instance, from, from 6.30 to 7.30, it's a huge difference. And it's this that allows us to taste it. If you tried to put this in a grinder, it would be impossible to grind it because it's so dense and so hard. Whereas this is like porous and it's very easily grindable and you can diffuse it in water, basically. Thank you for watching. That was a short and sweet little introduction to the lab here at Nordic Approach. Make sure to follow the Inside Coffee channel so you can see everything that we do here in the lab. 
super exciting projects in origin countries and just general knowledge about coffee.